Yo, what's good? It's your boy Don Colleon. Are we back? We are talking about the Rebel Moon. It is finally here. The anticipated Zack Snyder film. The movie we thought was going to be in comparison to Star Wars. But what's in there right now? It is not a, there are no comparisons. It's just totally two different type of films. This is a sci-fi, fantasy, fiction film. And off of rip, we just going to get into it. Off rip, the early action of the scenes, fight scenes. It was not as smooth. It was like hella choreographed. Like you hear, you could see the steps of what she was doing. And it wasn't smooth. It was so dramatic. But I will give it the aesthetic of every planet they went to was amazing it looked good it looked super good like i wish that they would explore and just explore the the, the planets every each planet they went to they didn't they only just gave us the entry way from the spaceships which was kind of was kind of uh sad i wish but other than that uh snyder definitely put his little spin on it with the dark feel like if y'all was familiar with the Batman vs Superman, or what? Uh, the Justice League. It was just like that, dark as hell. But it wasn't all too dark. Where we're like, come on, man. And we got to give, I guess, the story. Since it's not Star Wars esque, the protagonist, basically, a rebel child kidnapped from an Empire King. Who destroyed her, killed her family, destroyed her, her planet in, in, in the land where she came from. And now she was used, she was basically a fucking bot. And she was able to escape and and flee into some other planet village in disguise. And now that they same rebel, rebel group came and, well not rebel group, but came superior group came to this planet that she was in took advantage of these farmers and now she just took it upon herself to fight back and combat and be a rebel and stop put this i guess you want to see this uh king and you know and his empire to rest um and then from there she gathered her revenge of teams but she just like did she went planet to planet to go find other rebels and join up to stop this esco king um which was good like that's where you got to see the different actors um cast was cool that was it's average cast not too nothing crazy they got Jon Snow from what uh, John Snow character, he was in there. He was a little greedy little fuck. Um, and then we got the parent. We seen the trailer for. Then we got a first glimpse at these quote unquote fake ass lightsabers. They're not fucking lightsabers at all. These are fucking two blades that this one character had fighting this spider lady. There were two blades that well, had fucking ember. Just don't like this is fucking uh what do you even think like a uh, soul cat like not so like a uh, dark souls or demon souls like type this game like it was just a fucking ember that she slid across and it just looked flamish it was no lightsaber overall the story was it was average if you seen if you are familiar with these type of rebel you would think this is like a hunger games feel or divergent, or you know, or what you would call with it, maze. Or like it just give that kind of feel. But I don't know if this is a book. It's not original from a book, so it's just fantasy. Um, and on top of that, the aesthetic, everything else was appealing. I give them that. I'm, I, I want to bash it in aesthetically. It looked good story was just made um this is just only part one um it did leave on a cliffhanger a continuation of part two which comes out next year um overall i'm just gonna keep it a b 
it was like like a seven. It was like a seven for part one. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy. It wasn't no character building. Not even for the the main character. She didn't. She didn't get like in depth. But we did go into how she came about of her story of how she got kidnapped and all that stuff. But other than that, all her teammates. We just got a brief background of like why are they are in that state of they are in in that in the film. So that's why I'm giving it seven. Maybe part two might be better, but we'll see. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.